Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to cut a groove in wood with a circular saw. To cut a lengthwise groove, first, place a sacrificial board on your work table. Next, place the wood to be cut on the sacrificial board. Since the wood I'm cutting does not have enough width to place a circular saw on it, I'm placing a scrap wood of the same height near it. As the next step, you need to draw the boundaries of the groove. Use a speed square and a pen for doing this. Once you have the boundaries of the groove marked, it's time to set the depth of the saw blade. Now set the depth of the saw blade depending on the groove depth you need in the wood. Next clamp down the wood to be cut. Now to guide the circular saw in a straight line, I'm going to be using a rip fence. If you don't have a rip fence, use a straight edge instead. Now set the rip fence as that the blade falls just inside the groove boundary you marked. Once everything is in place, turn on the circular saw and make the cut. Readjust the clamps whenever it blocks the circular saw. Now, once you're done with the first cut, readjust the fence and make multiple cuts within the groove boundary. The goal here is to make multiple cuts so as to make it easy to chisel out the groove. The more cuts you make, the easier it becomes to chisel. Once the cuts have been made, start chiseling the wood with a chisel and a hammer. Now, some people don't like chiseling, but if you don't want to use a chisel, you'll need to use a router. Once you're done chiseling, use sandpaper to smooth out the rough edges. So with that, you've made a lengthwise groove in wood. Now the method to cut a widthwise groove in wood is almost the same except you can use a speed square to guide the circular saw instead of a rip fence. Clamp the speed square in place and make the first cut inside the groove boundary. Set the speed square on the other side and make a cut along the other groove boundary as well. Now just like the previous method, you need to make multiple cuts inside the groove boundary using your circular saw. When cutting the groove, make sure not to set the groove depth more than half the thickness of the wood that you're cutting. Once you're done making multiple cuts, use a chisel and hammer to make the groove. For finishing, use a sharp chisel to make it as smooth as possible. For finer finishing, smooth out the groove using sandpaper. So those are the two methods to cut a groove in wood using a circular saw. If you found this video useful, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.